Today we will be talking about nature. What comes to your mind if you hear the word nature? Very good. If we hear the word nature, what comes to our minds are trees, plants, and animals. We can also think of the sky, the moon, the sun, and the stars. These are all part of nature. And for this particular topic, you have to watch and listen to this. Today, we are going to talk about animals. We humans or people are not the only living organisms. We are not the only ones that have life. Plants and animals have life too. And it's our duty to be kind and to take care of them. We can start by knowing things about them. Let's start with the animals that we can keep at home, like the following. A dog. A dog, when properly trained, can be a very good guard and a loyal friend. A cat, too, can be fun to play with and can entertain us when we are bored or sad at home. Sometimes, we can also keep a rabbit, a turtle, or a parrot. We can even train a parrot to talk just like us. These kind of animals that we can keep at home are called pet animals. We feed them, control them, and train them to give us company and entertainment. There are also animals that we can tame, but we can't keep them at home, but rather we put them in the farm, like a cow, a horse, a goat, a pig, a duck, and a chicken. There are more animals that we can actually keep in the farm. These are just a few of them. These kind of animals are called farm animals. They are trained by humans for the purpose of food and for work. This next group of animals are called wild animals. This kind of animals live in their natural habitat, like the jungle or forest. They look and hunt for their own food, and most of the time they are not tolerant of people's presence. We have here a lion, a jaguar, a wolf, a bear, and a giraffe. These animals are called wild animals. Animals have different skin patterns. Let's try matching the skin pattern to the correct animals using an arrow. Which animal have the first skin pattern? It's the dog called a Dalmatian. How about the second pattern or skin pattern? It's the zebra. And the third skin pattern? Whose skin is it? Let's find out. It's the tiger. And the last skin pattern belongs to the giraffe. Well done, kids. Now let's talk about the benefits that we can get from animals. We can get milk from a cow. Eggs from a chicken. Workforce from an elephant. Company and entertainment from a dog. Can you think of other benefits that we can get from animals? You have to tell teacher about it next time. 
Dogs have homes too. A dog stays in a dog house or a kennel. We can also let it stay inside our home. A bird have its nest. A pet cat can also stay with us inside our home. A fish and a turtle stays in the water. What other animals live in water? Very good. Shark, whale, dolphins, octopus are animals that also live in water. How about animals that live or live in the forest? A bear. What else? A lion. An elephant. Great job, kids. You're really, really learning fast. Now, don't forget you have activities to answer on your book, Nature Around Us, pages 9 to 12. I'll see you again on our next video clip. That's all for today, kids. I hope you have had fun with the activities that you had. Until next time. Now, don't forget, you have to take a photo of the activities that you have answered and send it back to teacher. I'll see you again on our next video clip. Bye-bye.